Hi, uh, my name is Rajiv Dadia uh, from Sama Technologies. Uh, today, uh, we are um, video blogging on basically the topic of uh, OLTP versus OLAP. Uh, seems like a pretty old topic. Seems like uh, you know topic out of 90s when people are talking about appliances, BI appliances, and uh, uh, big data and and uh, 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 you know in memory analytics and so on. Why why go back to such a fundamental topic? The difference between a transactional processing system and an analytical processing system. And more I thought about it, I I, I felt that uh, unless we really understood the reason why a technology like relational database, which has served us for a little bit over three decades now, is is not scaling for the needs of our analytical processing needs, uh, then we need to start with this comparison. We need to be able to understand what it was designed for, how did we transform it, how did we start using it for the analytical needs. It was designed mainly on the transactional side, then we started using it more and more for analytical processing, and it scaled pretty well uh, to a particular point, and then it, it it kind of uh, uh, it was uh, very obvious that we needed very specialized um, uh, technology, be it hardware, software combination, to be able to scale beyond that. So to have that discussion and to be be effective in thinking through what the choices are beyond relational databases, I wanted to kind of go back and have this fundamental discussion. Um, so this is more for individuals who. Uh, want to understand a little bit historical point of view as to how did we get to the point we are at in terms of the transactional need versus analytical need and, and the differences between the two so that we can think about what's coming. So with that background, I'm going to focus this discussion on the uh, transactional versus analytical OLTP versus o OLAP um, and, and the different needs uh, that they put on and demand they put on the underlying uh, relational database system. So let's start with the examples uh, so that it's very clear what we are talking about. On the OLTP side, we are talking about transactions. We are talking about something which records a fact of an enterprise uh, in, in some form of a record. Uh, so be it uh, that uh, we bought something, sold something, uh, you know, changed the price on something, or hired someone, all these are recorded as a transaction in some kind of um, uh, you know order entry uh, all those are examples of transaction which are recorded in an ERP enterprise resource planning could be uh, uh, a third party could be a homegrown system um, could be a, a CRM customer relationship management someone called up said uh, you know I'm, I'm, I'm having trouble with such and such um, uh, device from your company uh, they file a, a issue ticket uh, those things are handled through CRM or customer feedback and so on. So point being that there are systems which are meant to record a transaction, uh, 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 an interaction um, of some sort or a transaction of some sort which, which fundamentally records a fact uh, which is of importance uh, to an enterprise um, to kind of in future look back and say what they have done. So that falls on the OLTP side. What falls on the analytical processing side? are things like we ask questions saying, uh, what has been my three year quarter by quarter trending revenue? Uh, that could be a report, could be a dashboard. So things which we refer to as reports or dashboards. And this opens up a complete new discussion on what is dashboard versus scorecard and, and uh, a discovery versus uh, reporting. Uh, for the purpose of this discussion, we're going to just stick with the fact that I need to extract data and turn it into information, get that out of the system, make some business decision for, uh, uh, from the things that I have stored uh, in the underlying system, versus on OLTP, I'm mainly concerned about capturing those transactions, that information. So capturing or inputting the data extracting and and utilizing the data for the purpose uh, analytical purposes that's the fundamental difference so so let's go and and relate it to the underlying technology as to what those differences are and why why these two are um, uh, diametrically opposite in terms of how um, uh, how they uh, utilize the underlying technology so let's uh, take a very basic example we have a customer uh, who has placed some orders and there's information about the products that they bought from us. Uh, so I could have uh, a customer table 
I could have a table for orders or sales, and I could have a table for products. Now, um, what are the typical type of things that I will do in OLTP? Oh, I have a new customer. I'll put a new record in the customer table. Oh, I have to update uh, the, uh, the uh, address for the customer. I'll go into this, locate that customer, update the address for that customer. I want to record a new order from them. I'll put it in the order table. Oh, by the way, they, um, they canceled an order. I want to go and update one of the past order and say this order was canceled. Uh, which product did it rep uh, relate to and so on. So basically it is uh, capturing a particular transaction or particular um, interaction that happened between the organization and the customer or organization and a supplier or whatever other forms that we want to look at. Uh, but it's, it's, it's very point, the key point I wanted to make here is that it's very um, uh, uh, driven by very few transactions. It is driven by, sorry, very few records uh, is the right word to use. Uh, that I'm interested at any given point in that one record to go and update or I'm interested in few records on this side which might tell me uh, what I should do with the new order that I've received from them. So, so at any given point I'm interested in one, two, five records and then I'm interested in insert, update or delete of that particular record. So I'm interested in inserting new information, updating a piece of information and uh, uh, or deleting information. So given, given that uh, scenario um, uh, in terms of uh, uh, what, uh, uh, you know, what we are focusing on uh, on the OLTP side versus let's look at what we are focusing on the, uh, on the OL, OLAP side. Um, same information, I'm going to represent it different and I'll, I'll come to the point as to why I'm representing it differently. So maybe I have a table here, which has a customer name, maybe phone number, maybe the product year, and order amount. Okay, that looks like combination of all the three tables into one, but it doesn't. If this order table had a million rows, maybe this one has only. 5,000 because I have aggregated it at a year level. So instead of having data for the whole year transaction by transaction, I have summarized it and aggregated it under one, um, one table. Um, excellent for reading. It is something where if I were to ask the question saying, tell me by customer the products they have bought for year 2009 um, and the amount, amount that they uh, bought uh, or am uh, amount of orders that they placed with us. I can ask that question very easily of this table. Same question I can ask here, but I'll have to join three tables, be able to uh, summarize a lot of rows, and then come to the same answer. So I'll have to do much more work. Here, all that work has been done for me once, and, and it's pre-cooked, and I can go and get that information. So the main function I'm doing here is a select, or a read function, where I'm extracting the information of interest. Obviously, first I have to write it to be able to read from it, but that write is once, and then I'm utilizing that well uh, uh, summarized information uh, and, and extract it multiple times with very l uh, little effort. And that's what pays off that trade off that I could do this work and then be able to use it multiple times and, and get a benefit out of it. So um, we kind of brought out the first key difference between the two that we wanted this system to be efficient for writes, that especially small writes. This system really efficient for big reads. And that's one fundamental difference. That actually then promotes all sorts of other underlying uh, uh, design decisions, uh, which is that uh, this, these uh, tables in, in the OLTP system tends to be normalized. That is, they are in, in a third normal form, um, and, and, and not to get into those details, but basically they are dispersed enough. They are, they are uh, uh, distinguished enough from each other that when I want to uniquely identify a customer, I have one place to go and I can go and find that customer. Here in this example, that same customer name will appear maybe five times, 10 times, 20 times based on how many products they bought and how many years worth of data is present. I might have that customer name repeated, you know, five times, 15 times. And if I wanted to update their phone number, 